Now that we've started to look at integers and saving numbers into variables, we're going to start. We're going to move on and look at how to use text. So I've got a basic program here, and I've started to create a variable called username. And instead of setting it as an integer, which means we're going to store some numbers in there, I'm going to set it as a string, which means we're going to store some text in there. There we go. Now, just like the integer variables, you can give each variable a value except in this case it's going to be text. So I can put here username equals, and in speech marks, because we're using text, we use Dave. Like that. Then I'm going to have um, a console.write line that basically says hello, and a space, and then uses the and to join it to whatever's in the variable username, so user that should pretty much give me a message that says, hello Dave. Let's see if it works. There we go. So now we've got a program that greets us by name, but only if your name's Dave. And that's not very useful. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine this with um, what we learned in the last video about giving variables the value based on user input. So. Above that line, I'm going to put a message. So I can copy that line there, console.write line for an output message. Console.write line, what's your name? There we go. And then I can set username to be the user input. So remember how we did that in the last video? Console.read line. There we are. Console.readline. And now, it doesn't matter what your name is, because you type it in there, it's saved in the username variable, and that username variable is looked at again in this message to greet you by name. So, what's your name? There we go. Hello, Mr. Cup. Let's try it again with a different name. Name. So now our programs start to get a bit useful. Don't forget, you can also use an and on the other side of the variable. To continue the sentence. Like so. You put all the text you want to be to be the same in every message in speech marks, but you don't put the variable names in speech marks. So again, mission Dave. There we go. So we put that variable in the middle of a sentence. Have a go at getting some user input, saving it into a string variable this time, so some text input, saving it into a string variable and using it back in a sentence.